Alright guys, I'm going to be talking you through my current bodybuilding routine. I work off a five day schedule and what I do is I start off with legs on the first day, chest on the second day, back on the third day, shoulders on the fourth day and arms on the fifth day. And what I do is I add in different muscles and different accessory movements on each of these days which I'll be talking you through. But for this video I'm going to talk you through the first day which is legs. On leg day I use two key movements which I focus on 8 sets dedicated to each of these movements to really focus on what I want to develop and my key muscles I want to develop on leg day is the quads and the hamstrings. So the first exercise I start off with is squats and I use the same sets and reps on squats as I do on the hamstring curl to really get a balanced and proportionate physique. So what I do is I you do squats first because these take the most amount of energy and get the best results in the legs. So on squats, I start off with a set, and this is the same for hamstring curls. I start off with a set of 15 to 20 reps. I then increase the weight, do a set of 10 to 12 reps, increase the weight again, do a set of 68 reps, and I increase the weight again, which is my heavy set, and do a set of 2 to 4 reps. Immediately after my fourth set, I do 4 drop sets. And I usually drop it around the 60% of my max weight and then drop it by 10% increments each time. So I'll start off with 60%, go down to 40%, 30%, and 20%, which then is a very light weight. But your quads will be so fatigued after doing already three drop sets before that final 20% set that you'll be really feeling it in those quads. So I then use the same method on the hamstring curl where I pyramid it up 4 sets and do 4 drop sets immediately after on my last set. And what I really want you to understand is, is whenever I do the 4 pyramid up sets, I take rest in between each set. So I'll do a set of 15 to 20, rest, a set of 10 to 12, rest, a set of 68, rest. And I usually rest for about 60, 60 seconds to a minute and a half. And then on my fourth set, I don't take a rest straight after and I do four drop sets immediately. Okay, so you do get a rest before you do your two to four set. But on the drop sets, there's no rest and you're just burning out the quads. And then on the hamstring curl, you just completely burn out the hamstrings. So I then like to do two accessory movements for the legs. And what I do is I do leg extensions first because this is another compound movement as similar to the squats. So what I'll do is four straight sets of a heavy weight, and I usually go for anything from six to fifteen reps, depending on how that feel, how I feel that day, and what results I want to get in the quads currently. So sometimes I'll do six reps if I want to really build up as much strength as I can possible after doing the squats. Or I'll do a set of fifteen to just really burn out the burn out the quads and get a real pump. So then the next exercise I do is the leg extensions because. Uh, I've already isolated the hamstrings and the hamstring curl and I want to get a real good isolation exercise for the quads. So what I'll do is another 4 sets of 6 to 15 reps and what I like to do is use a weight that's so uh, that's heavy enough that I can do the, f that's light enough that I can do the full range of motion but that's heavy enough that I hit failure on the rep, the rep that I want to hit between 6 and 15 reps for 4 sets. I usually go to failure each and every set in my workouts. But the only time that I don't go to failure is whenever I'm trying to set a new PR in the gym. So that's the end of the upper leg workout. I then finish off with calves and leg day. What I do for calves is the seated, uh, the seated calf raise, which is basically you're just sitting down and it mostly hits the soleus muscle in the calves because your knees are bent. So I'll do four sets of, of uh, the seated calf press and then I go on to... Which would, which would simulate a standing calf raise, only I do it on the leg press machine and put the balls of my feet uh, at the bottom of the leg press and get this here sort of movement where I would stretch the calves and squeeze and this will really bring up the gastrocnemius which is the medius part of the calf and that's my full leg workout routine guys. Next video is going to be chest day.